Hello guys and welcome to a new video We're in the final days of season 2 and I wanted to post one more game before the start of season 3 So today's game was a fun game especially in the start And again it was another solo vs squads because my teammates died and I had to fight my way through alone against some good enemies As for the guns that I'll be using I only looted one airdrop Which is mostly the case these days I don't get a chance to loot another one It's either already looted or because I keep facing enemies which keeps me busy And I don't really care much about long range guns so I mostly prioritized close range and I went with the Fennec. As for mid to long range, I'll be using a ground loot M4. I really love using this gun. It's accurate and easy to control. And it will be even stronger next season because it will be buffed. Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick word from today's sponsor. A game that needs no introduction. Raid Shadow Legends. The best strategy game in the market right now. Available for both mobile and PC. So if you're like me and you're tired and frustrated by your random teammates in COD, just take a break and hop in this game to relax and relieve some stress. Raid Shadow Legends is a PvP RPG game that gives you an amazing experience. As you recruit brave legendary warriors to fight the dark evil forces in a mission to save the world of Teleria. The thing about this game is that there is always something new to do and discover. From fighting to training your warriors and even crafting equipment to make them invincible. And trust me, you're gonna need these equipments. Because this game has some of the most powerful and scariest bosses including the four-headed beast they added recently. The Hydra. With its insane abilities to both deal and survive massive damage, this beast will give you the fight of your life. But that's for a good reason, because once you defeat it, it will reward you with some of the best artifacts that will make your warriors even stronger. What I love the most about this game, and unlike other similar strategy games, it has some insane 3D graphics. From the main screen to the character's design and the bosses you fight. So it's not only the fight you're enjoying, but you also get to experience some stunning beautiful fighting grounds with a lot of of details put into them and this is a good time to join because if you use the link in the description or simply scan the QR code in the corner you will get a free starter pack that's worth $30 only limited to new players with new accounts and it has many gifts including a mystery champion that will give you a strong start into the game so once you download it through the link you will find the rewards in your inbox right here We're landing in Rivertown. This place never disappoints. As I went against, I believe, three squads, so I was off to a good start. So right in the start, my teammate got killed by this player. And he's a player that I'm familiar with. And I know that he's pretty good. So I had to be smart here and avoid playing aggressively. Because good players mostly have good teammates with them. Supply box here. The airdrop is coming. Drop is coming. Enemy down. And 
engaging the enemies. No, Supply box here. The revived flank will arrive in one. Supply box here. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. That was a very long fight and I don't usually let strong teams survive. I make sure they're eliminated. But this time I opened my mic and we agreed to cease fire so that they can scan their tags and come back to the game. Then we all went our separate ways. I went to get number four's tag and honestly I didn't even realize I had a teammate still alive. And guess what? This guy had the best loot in the game. At that moment I had two questions in mind. First of all, how did he not kill anyone? I mean this guy had the best loot yet he didn't even kill a bot. And the second question is why isn't his body looted? Either way, I had everything I needed thanks to him. And my next objective was to head to the nearest airdrop to get my Fennec. Nope. The airdrop is coming. is coming. Moving on to the final stages of the game, as I was searching for Rivertown squad, I came across another one. And in the start, I thought they were noobs, but I was wrong. These guys knew what they're doing, moving together and covering each other's back perfectly. So I had a nice position in here, but throwing a nade was a mistake, as I ended up wasting a lot of time for nothing. During that time, I could have at least knocked one of them, and I almost did, but I failed. <laughs> The thing about nades, yes they're deadly, but sometimes they're just not worth it. And when you fail to knock an enemy in the start of the fight, then you know that you messed up. And you're in deep trouble. But somehow I still survived. Not only that, but I bailed in a perfect timing. Because the other squad was pushing trying to third party. And they ended up clashing with this squad. At this point, I was keeping an eye on the kill feed. And once I realized that there were casualties on both sides, it was my chance to go in. It's either now or never.
In here I wasted time again because I thought I had my Fennec equipped. But I still got the kill followed by a quick successful decision to switch to the M4 and take out the last member of the squad. As for the last squad they weren't really that good so it was an easy wipe. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.